story, Kaiser Chiefs have had enough and have taken to the streets to protest against how their club is run. About 500 of them are expected to gather outside the team's headquarters in Naturana in Johannesburg. Our reporter, Tsepo Tobane, is there and joins me live uh, this morning. A very good morning, Tsepo. Uh, the scenes, of course, uh, from the grounds are quite interesting. Tell us what's happening. Hello, Ata. I mean, as you say, things are interesting here in Naturan. I mean, we've never seen something like this in the history of Kaiser Chiefs football. Yes, Kaiser Chiefs is one of the biggest sides uh, in the country in terms of reputation. But they have gone five years without any silverware. You look at this season alone, we are not even sure that the team is going to be making it into the top eight. I'm with the unhappy people here, the Kaiser Chiefs fans, who protested earlier at the Kaiser Chiefs club's uh, headquarters. Let, let me talk to them and get the full story. I mean, what, what, the reason that you guys decided to protest, what is that the, the reason? Uh, we've been trying to get rid of the management just so we can tell them our grievances about the club. Because if you can look at it, Everybody can see that um, the club is going down season after season. So they weren't giving us a chance. They weren't interacting with us. In fact, they were just shutting us out. Because we know where the club belongs, we decided to take matters into our own hands, go there and hand them over the memorandum that has everything that we have been crying for. I mean, with the step that you guys have taken, do you think that changes will be made? We believe there's going to be changes. What we are happy about is that the management have heard our pleas, the management have heard our cry, the management has sent a delegation to us. That means they are taking us into cognizance. We want to change, the, we want to see the changes. Even the message, we are 100% sure, will be inseminated to the players. So we want to see a, a complete change. Tell us about some of the things that you guys are unhappy about. Yes, the team have gone five years without winning anything. Is that part of the reason that you decided to protest? Okay, uh, well, one of the things that we are crying more, most about is uh, player recruitment. We have been signing mediocrity. Like, uh, we will go to Africa and then uh, sign players that have, been not, have never been tested. So we want to bring quality now. So hopefully they will bring more like good players now. Uh, Kaiser Chiefs like, is known to produce new good players. We are known to produce legends. So right now there's no even legend at the present squad now. There's no legend there. There's no one that you can call here. This is a Kaiser Chiefs legend. They're just paying for their salaries. So we hope they will bring good quality now. So yeah, that's one of the issues that we wanted to raise with the players, uh, with the management there, yeah, to bring good, uh, good players here. Yeah. Kaiser Chiefs, for the first time, will be playing in the KF Champions League quarterfinals tomorrow. I mean, don't you think that this step that you've taken might destabilize the team ahead of that crunch game against Simba tomorrow at FNP Stadium? Actually, it was the right step to take at the right time. <clears throat> the reason being, even the technical team, even the, 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 the players themselves, they should realize that we have had enough. They are not giving their all. This is why we came here and complained. This is why we came here and tell them our story. So for me, I think it's some sort of a motivation to realize that Buffet, we need to start doing better. We need to represent the badge because people out there, they are not happy. This is one of the best motivation we gave them. Hence on the memorandum, we wish them luck. We ask them, we plead to them that Buffet, please represent this club with pride and dignity. And I mean, in terms of reputation, Kaiser Chiefs is known to be winning many trophies. But lately, that is not happening. We see sundowns lately dominating, lifting cups all uh, every season. I'm sure you guys envy. You want your team to be back to the glory days. We are very much angry. We are heartbroken. We have been turned into a laughing stock. It has been seasons and seasons that the team is not winning anything. God was on our side last year. Uh, until on the 11th minute and on our last match but this time things are worse we are even struggling to get to top eight this is heartbreaking for us as uh, fans this is heartbreaking for us as the supporters of the club we want to see changes it cannot be chiefs is a big team so what we wanted to do today is just to send a message to the players and the management that guys probably you have forgotten that we are suffering out there you are here because of us we make you what you are that is a club cannot exist without the fans a club cannot exist without the supporters that was the message we want to send today we are heartbroken
heartbroken, angry, disgruntled. The fans have spoken, Arthur, obviously very disappointed with how the management is, in their own words, uh, treating the team. Well, thank you very much, uh, Tsepo Tsobane. That's our reporter uh, uh, from the field there, Naturana, um, as the Kaiser Chief supporters have obviously made their intentions very clear about what they'd like to change uh, ahead of the new season. Can you believe it? Between four to five games left until the end of the new DSTV 2020-2021 uh, premiership. But, of course, we'll bring you more uh, from uh, the field as Tsepo follows that story. Okay, all